all right I'm just full of stories because I got I just got done with the last one about the whole ask Barack Obama questions um, and now I'm going on to about the school and the little traps that you end up falling into here um, I love the school actually I, I love the environment about the school and the people who are here and everything I mean, you make lots of cool friends from all over the world and everything so I really like the opportunity you have to meet all these people that I, I love that opportunity and the campus is nice and things like that except for the fact it's on top of a mountain and um, civilization is a good 560 yen down the mountain um, so causes for a little then yes. um yeah, inconvenience uh, but uh anyways I really really like it here I mean except for the classes and it's not like I don't like my teacher or something like that it's not that at all um my teachers are nice people they work really really hard they just don't teach in a way for a non-Asian, non-Japanese, native English speaker um, to learn their language. Um, so, um, as a prelude in the other one, uh, I was saying most people fail foundation, um, foundation Japanese, or like their first year here and uh, nobody will tell you this um, none of the admissions people will tell you this until later on you're in here you paid the money and then you're like oh what how many people fail um, yeah it's a very high percentage I mean like maybe like 87 percent of um, my class failed foundation two, me included I had failed Foundation 1 already, Foundation 2. I'm studying to try and pass Foundation 3, but the final is next, maybe next Thursday. Today is Wednesday of um, this week. It's not, the, it's not tomorrow, it's the next Thursday after that. Um, so I have about a week to figure all this out and because I've never learned another language before I don't know how to learn another language I don't know how to study bumpo um, grammar sorry sometimes I forget what some of these words are <laughs> um, like what they are in English because you say them so much in Japanese um, and like I didn't know how to study kanji until topic 13 which is in foundation 3 um, and, um, so I was failing all of those kanji quizzes before. I'm getting higher scores. I'm not quite as high as I'd like it to be because I'm having a hard time remembering, um, the Japanese word for it. Like, I'll know what the kanji, like, the kanji goes here because in this situation, this is what's going on. And so this kanji means this to fulfill that situation. Like, I know the kanji for, I know many kanji actually. Well, not many, but like I can recognize quite a few, um, like the meaning of it. Oops. Oh, yeah, the kanji for like night. When I see it, I know it's the kanji for night. I know it means night. If you ask me how to say it in Japanese, I'm not gonna know. That's where my problem comes in. Don't remember the hiragana or the way it's said, the way it's read. I'll know the meaning, but I won't know how to read it. Um, that's kind of where my problem is coming in, in that aspect. Um, and then I have a clue when it comes to grammar. And I'm just figuring out what's a good study tool 
for me to learn this vocabulary because I mean like in America when you're learning new English words you get that new English word and then you write the definition the dictionary definition of it and then you just look over it and then you pretty much have it down for the quiz um, it's no problem but um in another language you're like um what do I do to remember this um, and I actually found out what kind of works reasonably well for me is, um, yeah, everyone says flashcards, but they don't say picture flashcards. I need picture flashcards <laughs> because that's how my brain works with pictures. Um, like, I was on, on, on my iPhone, I love my iPhone 4, by the way, um, like I'm always downloading free apps, like always, always, always. So, but the unfortunate thing is, then I won't get the full application for something. But that's okay. I get a taste of what it is. And it's like ah, idea. Um, there's this one application. Let's see, what is it called? So I can give credit to this lovely application. Um, this application is called. Is it this one? No, that's not it. Where is it? I want. I really want to give um, tribute to this one. Ah, ah, Gengo Light, and it is sponsored by Japanese Pod 101. I actually do have a, an account at Japanese Pod 101. The only thing is now you have to pay for it to do anything and um, Daigakuse. Hara Okane Ganai meaning I'm a university student. I don't have any money. <laughs> so um but anyways, this Genko flashcards. Um it's where there's flashcards and then there's a game. Flashcards for like the fruit and everything. You look at a picture of it and then it's said it's like a lingo. Lingo means apple. So it shows you a picture of an apple. And then it says lingo. 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 And then you're like, okay, lingo. 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 You know. Um, you, you have it in your head. So then you go through it and you're like, oh, okay, this is nice. I got it. And then the next one is a game where then it'll show you three different pictures of three different fruit and then you listen and maybe they'll say ichigo ichigo means strawberry but there'll be a picture of like orange orange or mikan mikan is some little oranges I think anyways um orange um lingo and uh and then strawberry. So they'll say Ichigo 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 And they're like, Oh, what was that again? Oh yeah, strawberry. Click and you click the strawberry and correct. You got it correct, then you go on to the next one. So you have to recall it in these games and then you're like Ah, okay, and so it's a matching game and everything, and uh, that really, really helps me, because I actually didn't know the word Ichigo until two nights ago. So I learned strawberry. Yeah. Um, anyways. Um, so I figured that's a good idea, so I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, like, taking all of my vocab, there's a lot of vocab, and, like, searching up pictures that I can relate to it, and then um, I'm recording myself saying it in Japanese. Though really I should be having one of my native Japanese speakers recording saying it in Japanese, but they all seem to be busy, so I do it on my own. Um, maybe later I'll be able to get a native Japanese speaker to do this for me, so that I have the actual tones completely correct, but I guess this will have to do for now. And then I will create like, in Movie Maker, I'll kind of create a something that 
assimilates it. Like, it's not actually, like, a game or actually, uh, like, flash cards. It's kind of more like a movie, but I think, I think I can make it work. So, I will do that. And, um, hope it helps. But, like, I didn't realize this until now. A week before the the final. The final final. Before the JLPT, the Japanese Language Proficiency Test. <laughs> and I, I think it's because I don't have any native English speakers, like teachers, native English speaking teachers that are teaching Japanese to tell me about these cool little tricks to help you remember these things. I'm here with yeah, there are, I have a friend who is a native English speaker from England who is learning Japanese. He's learning, or he learned Japanese, actually. He's in advance class. Um, but, like, you don't realize you know these tricks or that these teachers have taught you these tricks until, like, ever. <laughs> really, you actually don't notice these at all. You just pick it up and you assimilate it into your normal your normal routine when learning another language and everything. And so he's so far advanced that he he can't he's he's not a teacher, so he he tries to help me and like he'll he'll say something and he'll be like, in relation to this, this and this and I'm like I kinda know what you're telling me. And sometimes like he's taught me some phrases that I've remembered like Wukarnain this kiddo and then kind of thing, meaning I don't know, but, and usually what will happen after the but is someone will fill in, they will answer the question for you or they'll give you more information. You'll be like, I don't understand, could you give me more, more information? And then someone will fill it in for you. Um, but, uh, this kettle is very lovely, you can use that with lots of things, but anyways, um, I learned, I learned that from him. I learned some things from him like that, but when it comes to like bumpo and things like that, and how to study kanji and how to study vocab, it can't really help me in those uh, departments. So I'm kind of on my own. Um, but I'm gonna go back to my country and I either have a tutor. So that means someone who has experience in teaching this language. A native English speaker who has experience teaching this language. That's what I need. Um, because I love my teachers. Okumura sensei and Takao sensei. They're lovely women. Lovely. The only thing is their English is so cute because it's so broken. Um, even learning my basics, they're going like this. Kiddo, <laughs> kind of thing. They were mixing their English and Japanese so much that I was just like, "You're so cute." I haven't a clue what you're telling me, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Um, I just wasn't catching on. Um, and then when you try asking them questions, they can't quite answer it because their English isn't quite good enough, and so that's what's causing problems. So my hopes is to get a tutor when I go back to my country sorry, habit saying my country rather than America. When I go back to America um, to visit, I am coming back to the school, I am. Um, and, uh, and, or, I'm hoping it's an and and not just an or, but either way is good, um, to go to my friend's university for a short time to get some help from her Japanese teacher. Um, who is a native English speaker, which I did meet with her before, and she was a lovely woman, and um, I really think I could get some help there. Um, so yeah, but they they tell you, oh, you don't need to know any Japanese when you enter this university, but they're missing this but, but it would help you a lot if you did have your basics down. Like basics meaning hiragana, katakana, some kanji, how to study kanji, um, grammar, uh, nice already 
set lists in your head of vocabulary and things like that and how to study all of that. Um, they don't tell you this in... Mm.